Welcome everybody to this episode of the Wrestle Dudes Wrestle Doodles. This is our second episode of the month of February 2019. If you didn't check out the first episode of February 2019, it was Alexa Bliss. But here today, we move from a goddess to the man, Becky Lynch. And we are taking this iconic photo of Becky Lynch uh, from when she got her, uh, and I quote, face broken uh, on an episode of Monday Night Raw after invading right before Survivor Series and we are going to create this into a wallpaper that you can download for free. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video but we're going to check out how I created this uh, wallpaper and I'm going to give you some facts that you might not have known about Becky Lynch. So here we go. We're going to get started here and in our usual way. I'm just going to find the outline of all the skin tone parts and then we're just going to start to create this like rough uh, starting point for all of it so you've already seen I've started on the arms and now I'm going to start on the face and the head and then we're going to do the t-shirt now the t-shirt we're not going to do the blue smackdown t-shirt we're going to do Becky Lynch's iconic black and white the man t-shirt and then we're going to add in all the blood and stuff and all the effects and give her that awesome smile I just I just love this photo uh, there was a print that someone did going around uh, that is very very good and we're gonna make a wallpaper for your phone or your tablet or your laptop here today so here we go we're just getting started and now as I move on to the t-shirt I'm gonna bring up my very first fact here about Becky Lynch uh, we were talking about Becky Lynch here having this and I quote broken face here from that episode of Monday Night Raw well Becky Lynch actually has had several injuries in her career she's broken both of her ankles which sounds like it sucks hopefully it wasn't at the same time she's had two stingers in her neck and one head injury and that head injury was very severe she had to retire back in 2006 and she was out of wrestling for seven years and she didn't come back until 2013 can you guys imagine a, a world of professional wrestling without becky lynch imagine if she had stayed retired how how different the landscape of WWE and professional wrestling as a whole would have been if becky lynch stayed retired it, it's just baffling to think about Also another interesting fact that you might not know about Becky Lynch and concerning her and her buddies of the four horsewomen of WWE talking about Bailey, Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair, but Becky Lynch is actually the only person in the four horsewomen of WWE to not hold the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, the first was Charlotte. She won a tournament for it. And then Sasha Banks defeated Charlotte in uh, what I believe was a fatal four-way matchup. Then Sasha Banks was defeated by Bayley in their iconic TakeOver Brooklyn match. And then Bayley was defeated by Asuka. And that would send all four of the four horsewomen of NXT up to the main roster roster of Raw and SmackDown, and Becky Lynch, the last kicker, she never got the chance to shine as the NXT Women's Champion, but she would go on to become the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion at Backlash 2016. And right now we're just working on some of the shading for the arms just a little bit. We'll do most of the majority of the shading uh, towards the end of the video and I probably won't show that since it's pretty basic stuff. But right now we're going to work on the outline of the hair. So I wanted to get the right shade of orange for this. So it didn't look too cartoony and it also didn't look too dark compared to the skin tone of it. That's one thing that I always try to make sure of uh, with these drawings and with these uh, wallpapers is that all the colors are balanced. Nothing looks too bright. Nothing Nothing looks too dark nothing looks too shaded we don't want anything to clash or we don't want, to, want anything to blend in so well so if there's somebody whose skin tone is sort of close to the color of their hair sort of like Alexa Bliss her hair is like pretty blonde and her ha her skin tone almost 
matches it. Sometimes I want to make sure that there's very defined edges, especially with Becky Lynch's hair. It's pretty easy considering her skin tone uh, is very, very different from her hair color. It'd be very strange to see Becky Lynch come out with orange skin. Uh, I mean, then again, she might, considering if she was ever on the show The Jersey Shore. I mean, those people were friggin' orange as orange can be. But moving on, here's another fact that you might not know about Becky Lynch. Some of her connections to now current WWE superstars. Becky Lynch's career in pro wrestling began. She was actually going to be a kickboxer, but her brother learned about a wrestling school that was opening up nearby them. And this school was actually opened by Paul Tracy and Finn Balor, the former Fergal Devitt. And she was only 15 when she began training. And then she would go on to actually encounter her then... PCB uh, teammate Paige earlier in her career. I think this was back in 2011, it says, but she wasn't a wrestler. She was the Knight Dynasty's manager, and she would be the manager of both Paige and her mother uh, in their promotion. So this was way before they became teammates in PCB, or uh, as WWE used to call it, the submission sorority, which was very, very bad. But it's pretty cool uh, to think that even before they went to WWE, WWE, Paige and Becky Lynch knew each other, and Becky Lynch got to uh, once again encounter her then teacher uh, Finn Balor years later uh, in the WWE. There we go, and now we're just moving on here. We're just making a nice chin outline here, just so we have a good starting point to work on the face. Uh, the face was very difficult uh, to do at first. It kind of took a couple of tries trying to figure out uh, how I was going to be able to create this effect of like the blood uh, coming off without it being too much. But I think I found a very good uh, solution for it. If you guys think it's a good solution, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, right here we're just working on some more details on the neck. Uh, after doing this, it kind of looks like I gave her a, like a really, really veiny neck. She looks like really, really buff. But I mean, it does make Becky Lynch look more dangerous than she actually is. She is very, very dangerous. Like I said, she wanted to go into a career of kickboxing, so no doubt about it, she probably still has some of those skills. And it'll be very interesting to see if she implements them more and more in her WWE career. But uh, right here, we're just working on the mouth. Becky Lynch's deadly smile here in this moment. Oh, man. She looks like a horror character uh, in this moment here. Just standing on the aisleway up in the stairs with the stands, uh, with the fans watching her. She's covered in blood on her face, just staring down at the ring with the Raw Women's uh, locker room and Ronda Rousey in it. And she's just smiling at him like this. This could literally be, like, on the cover of a horror film. Like, we could have Freddy versus Jason versus Becky Lynch. Uh, place your bets. Who do you think would win? Freddy, Jason, or Becky? You guys know who I'm going for here. Come on now. It's not that hard to guess. And now we're moving up a little bit further. We're going to work on the eyebrows here, just getting the nice outline here and making sure we pick the right color here for the eyebrows. Just going to go through and do them. There we go. And Becky Lynch, she, is, she uh, in her baby face run, she was very into using social media to create these funny little videos uh, using like puns. Uh, and actually her finisher itself is actually a pun of its own. The Disarmor, uh, is, which is an arm bar that she uses to tap out of her her opponents. It's actually a pun in itself. The Disarmor is disarm her, if you ever see how it's spelt, uh, which it literally looks like it could disarm anybody. It's a very effective finishing maneuver and one that has won her several matches within the past couple of years and has won her successfully the SmackDown Women's Championship, which I mention again because I'm very, very happy that she is the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion.
There we go. And now here I'm just going to work on the eyelids before I do the eyelashes. That's something that I've sort of messed up on in the past is I'll do the eyelids uh, after I do the eyelashes so they won't come out as good. And uh, we all know Becky Lynch's Twitter game is uh, 100% like savage, so I don't want to mess up anything and have the man come after me on Twitter. So I want to make sure I get these eyelashes perfect. And the eyebrows. I want everything to be perfect. If I could, I would draw Becky Lynch like standing over every competitor in the women's division. But sadly, we don't have enough time for that. Uh, this this drawing actually didn't take me as long. Uh, I believe my longest drawing that it ever took me to make was the Alexa Bliss one, which was like an hour and ten minutes. I think this one clocked in at about 50 minutes, so really not that much longer. But uh, I still wanted to work on as many details in this drawing as possible. And before we move on to the penultimate part of this drawing, I have one more little fact for you about Becky Lynch. Uh, much like her four horsewomen teammates, uh, Sasha Banks and Charlotte, she also had a little cameo before being properly featured on NXT TV and WWE television. She actually cameoed as part of Adam Rose's Rosebuds. These were like party goers that would come out to the ring with Adam Rose, and she is not the only famous uh, now WWE superstar to be seen as one of Adam Rose's Rosebuds. If you go to Google and look up Becky Lynch Rosebuds, you will see a plethora of now current top WWE stars. You can see people such as, obviously, Becky Lynch, Carmella, Simon Gotch, the former vaude villain of WWE, Elias or Elias Sampson, and even Braun Strowman, which is a very crazy thing to think one day you could be a rosebud and then the next you could be the monster among men or in Becky Lynch's case the man And now we finally have the eyes done, and I wanted to work on uh, the eyes a little bit more, but I did it after the video uh, had ended. But right here I'm just working a little bit more on the outline of the eyelids. And then we're going to move on to the very iconic blood parts of her face. I wanted to make sure that I didn't blend it too much so the blood wasn't so red, because uh, it wasn't really that dark on some parts of her face, but we're just going to add it here. It sort of overlaps the mouth a little bit, and you'll see a little bit of layering parts here. And then I also went a little bit and added some extra blood on like parts like her t-shirt and a little bit on her arm. But I think it makes it look a whole lot better. She looks very dangerous uh, at the very end, like even the blood on her t-shirt that I add in. And there I added in the teeth. There we go. And I had to cover up her ear a little bit because uh, I noticed that I hadn't covered it up yet. And then I take a darker shade of orange and we make these nice little shading lines. There we go. And I think it turned out very, very good in the end. And making sure I get these darker parts of her hair covered up. There we go. My goal with some of these drawings is to make them look like they're like comic book style, and I definitely think this turns out very, very well here. And speaking of comic books, I would always wonder like what WWE superstars would play in like superhero movies, so let me know in the comments what superhero do you think Becky Lynch would be able to play the best? Because I know an obvious answer would be because of her orange, reddish hair would be Black Widow in the MCU, but I also see her as a Poison Ivy in the DCEU, but let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Uh, but right now we're just going to do some shading and then I'll show you guys how to download this Becky Lynch wallpaper for free. So here you have it, you guys, Becky Lynch, your finished wallpaper, the second finished wallpaper of February 2019. Thank you very much to everybody who got us 
over 200 plus subscribers in the month of December. That's why you guys got two episodes in February. Next month we go back to one episode. I don't know who we're going to do next month's wallpaper for. Leave me some thoughts and ideas in the comments of this video. But if you guys want to download this free wallpaper for your phone, your laptop, or your tablet or anything like that, you can go ahead and download it for free, no strings attached, by going to the top link in the description of this video. It'll take you to the website where you can download this and many, many other uh, wallpapers for free. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, follow me on all social media, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Wrestle Dudes, Wrestle Doodles.